referee looks at his watch. Any second now. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, welcome back to Normal Bet TV. My name is Will. I'm Oli. We're talking Wednesday fixtures, Champions League. You know the drill by now. Hopefully we smashed Tuesday's ones. Yeah. I think we probably will have. You can double check those. Hopefully we have. There was a few reds in there as well. If we say this is red, it means the stats fully support the outcome, whatever mm. outcome we're saying, and the odds look better than what we think they should be. Yeah, so there's value there. To Extra value. Um, aim a game, win your <coughs> money, and we just go through every single fixture, pull out the stats, and go, here's what we would be betting on. Yeah? Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Right, first game. This one's Tom's. He sent it in to us. So, Atletico Madrid versus Monaco. Right, so, Atletico are second on nine points. Mm. Monaco, fourth on one they point. They still haven't turned it around, have they? They're just... Horrendous. Just a bad <clears> team. <throat> um, Atletico are class at home. Yeah. They've won five of the last six games, including yeah. beating Dortmund, who we were like... Yes. Dortmund are on fire yeah. at the moment. Um, ruined our bet, didn't they? Killed the bet. Um... The other game was a draw v Barca, and that was a 90th minute equaliser. Mm. So, you know, they're, they're very good. Yeah, this, um, is, this is an easy um, one to call. Um, Atletico have won three of the last five home games to nil. Mm. So not only do they win, but they're at tight as heck at mm. the back, mm. not conceding. Monaco got their first win on, under Thierry yeah. at the weekend, a 1-0 Probably scrap yeah. in Caen um, in League One. That was only their second win of yeah. the season. Yeah. So they're terrible. Basically, this game's a pretty foregone conclusion. Atletico to win, but Tom's tip is Atletico to win to nil. Yeah. Because there's just no value in Atletico to win. Yeah. Um, which is mad. You wouldn't. You'd normally, normally be quite a tight, kind of a tight mm. game. Um, so Atletico to win to nil is 1.58, um, his score prediction is 2-0. Yeah, that's right. Spot on. Next one in that group, Dortmund versus Bruges. So Bruges have only won one game, Dortmund have only lost one, which is mm -hmm. the last one to Atletico that you were saying. That's the only game they've lost in 18 games. Uh, straight after that game last time, they bounced back, beat Bayern Munich 3-2. Yeah. So, no dip for them, that was just a one-off game. Mm. Atletico are great at home, so that doesn't even matter. Yeah. Bruges uh, have lost their last two games domestically as well, but they've managed to score in each of the last 11 games. So even though they're losing, not getting they much of the goal. games, they, they're nicking goals. At home, Dortmund have scored 26 in seven games, but they've conceded in five of the last six. Mm. So they're conceding the odd goal. Bruges scoring the odd goal. So I'm saying both teams to score, 1.68, pretty decent. But mm. this is surely what you need to be going for. Dortmund to win and both teams to score, 2.6. Like that. That's, I think that is so likely to happen. If you want to do something else, Jaden Sancho scored four since October. Looked really dangerous. Oh, he's looking so good. England, we think he's a class player. 2.48, score any time. Might be worth doing that as well. Yeah. Score. Or if I, you can bet on an assist. Him to get an assist. Oof. Yeah. So you can yeah. you can do some booking yeah. and say him to get an assist. I reckon that's a shout. Um I've gone four one Dortmund. Oof. Battering. Yeah. We'll be feeling a bit bruised after that, won't they? They might, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, um next one, PSV versus Barcelona. Mm. So Barca have qualified already, mm. but um, they'll want to cement first place yeah. for the seeding and stuff. So um, they are going to be putting out a strong team mm. for this. They're not, not just going to be like, oh, we've, we've mm. qualified, let's just put out a second string team, which is still ridiculous. Um, Messi is back from injury. and That was quick. Yeah, I know. He broke his arm. Yeah, he's back. That was very quick. He's already played since he's broken. Yeah, I think he like, picked up another knock or something. I remember him playing with a cast on. Yeah, I think he played in a game that they lost two weeks ago. Mm. Yeah, that's quick. Can't have been a proper break. It's just a, just a fracture. Really they just called it. A, it did look bad, didn't yeah. it? Actually. Anyway, <coughs> he'll be gagging. Around, yeah, he's he'll be gagging to get back to business. Yeah, he's picked up five goals in his last two Champions League games, mm. 
um, the man's a, a god. Yeah, he is. Um, PSV are winless in their four Champions League mm -hmm. games so far. They're bottom of the group. They can't qualify anymore. Um, this could be a battering this. This could be a battering, but <clears throat> whenever you're looking at Barcelona, there's not much value. Mm -hmm. um, I've gone with Barcelona to win and Messi to score. Yeah. Win cast yeah. is 1.88. So I think that's quite good value. Yeah. And I've made that red. I think yeah. Barcelona probably will win. And I'm not being funny. Yeah. If Messi's not on the score sheet, I'll be shocked. Yeah. So 1.88. That's good value, that's red. Score prediction is 3-1 to Barca. Fine. You could probably put that on every single Barcelona game and win money. And yeah. And you'd be up at the end yeah. of the season. Yeah. Uh, okay, that. next one from Tom. Tottenham versus Inter. It's a big game. Huge game. So, Tottenham are second, Inter a third. Huge, huge game. So, if Tottenham win, they keep their qualification chances alive. Mm. Inter won the reverse fixture 2-1, two have. late goals, they yeah, have. really unlucky. All of Tottenham's games in the Champions League this season have seen both teams to score and all have seen over 2.5 goals as well. They beat Chelsea 3-1 at the weekend, great result, yeah, that was, confidence. they frog leaped them didn't they? Frog leaped them. Um, so they're full of confidence, four of the last five Inter games have seen over 2.5 goals as well. So Tom's going for over 2.5 goals, one. 1.62. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, Spurs win 1.8. Do you know what I'd go with in this? Spurs win and both teams to score. Yeah. I think that would be good. Yeah. I think, I, I think they probably will concede. Icardi's class. Yeah. They'll probably nick one. Mm. But at the end of the day, Spurs will win it. Yeah. I agree with that. So he's gone, he's gone 2 1. But I agree. Well, he's agreed with me as well then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, nice. Next one, Group C, Napoli versus Red Star. Oh, gone rogue. Ooh. I've gone a bit rogue here. So, Napoli joint top with Liverpool. Yeah. They're yet to lose, but they've drawn three. Mm. They've also drawn four of their last six games. Mm. Uh, unbeaten in nine, so the, the run's good, but mm. they're not actually winning as many games as what you'd think. Yeah. Red Star are unbeaten in seven, including the 2 0 win against Liverpool. Which were they were at home, though. Yeah, which they were at home. Yeah. The reverse fixture was 0 0. Yeah. Um, they've won 11 of their last 14 games since then. Mm. The two they lost was 4 0 away to Liverpool and 6 1 PSG once mm. they got going. Wasn't that the, the Mbappe show as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. But but maybe not. But is. anyway. There's minimal value in Napoli win, 1.14. Mm. And I actually think that Red Star have got much more chance of winning or getting something from this game mm. than that suggests. Mm. So Red Star double chance. So Red Star to win or draw, mm. 6.1. That's very, very good. Hey, I could easily see that being one-all. Yeah. Easily. Hey, if, you, if, you, if you're going to sway towards a draw in this circumstance, there's no point saying... Draw. No, might exactly. as well go double chance. Exactly. Red star. Yeah, because the odds are so much better. Yeah, six point one. That that's worth a single. Just put a bit of money on that because I'm going one all on that game. It's not red. Though. Value. It's not red, but it is because it's still red. Flag good. this because that is great value, but it the stats aren't suggesting the red star win. Mm. Just your little gut instinct. Gut. But the stats are saying it could be a draw though. Could potentially. Napoli drawn three of their games so far and drawn four of the last six. So. And the reverse fixture was 0 0. Away. Yeah, but still. Anyway. Let's Next see. game is PSG versus Liverpool. Mm. Big, mm -hmm. big, big, big game. Mm. So the reverse game was 3 2 thriller at Anfield. Yeah. Last minute, nicked it. Well done, Liverpool. Since then, Liverpool had a bit of a shitter in mm. the uh, Champions League. They've lost to both Napoli and Red Star, yeah. which means now they're actually, I think one point, there's one point separates the two in the group. between. Yeah, they're, one, joint, they're joint first, but there's one point between, between PSG, PSG and one point behind. Yeah. So it's a massive game. PSG at home. Yeah. However, oh yeah, the other thing is, so yeah, since then, PSG are unbeaten in three games. Mm. Um, so they drew 
with Napoli two all and one all, mm. and then they thrashed Red Star six one. Mm. Um, but there's big doubts if Neymar and Mbappe will play. Really, they're both injured. But that's not a good sign. <laughs> no, but there's a chance they might play. But mm. they they have, they rested last game. They're not going to be hundred percent anyway. Yeah, I mean, he'll 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 want to put them mm. in this game. Mm. They might, that's why they, maybe they're rested. But from looking at the research reports, saying that they're both doubts. Yeah. So maybe one of them will play. Maybe they'll be on the bench. Who knows? Yeah. Either way, PSG could struggle here. Mm. Um, so, it's a difficult game to call because we don't know the, the, the team sheets. Mm. But, like we said with Red Star, if, you, if I feel like there's a potential draw in the cards, yeah. you've got to go for a double chance. Yeah. Uh, and especially with Liverpool, there's every chance they could also win. Mm -hmm. Less so for Red Star, obviously, mm. but in, in this game, Liverpool could easily nick that. Yeah. Um, got some serious quality up front. So my tip is Liverpool double chance. Yeah, one point seven six. It's good. It's good. Could even be red. Yeah. It's, it's just because good. it's at PSG yeah, and we yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. if Mbappe and Neymar are yeah, playing. Yeah, if red. they are playing, that's looking less likely to happen. Yeah. But at one point seven six, it's worth mm -hmm. it. I reckon. Correct score two one Liverpool. And that's what, what's Liverpool to win? No. It'll probably be about double that, 3.3 3 or something. Mm. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just wanted to play it a little bit safer because I don't know if, if um, Neymar and Mbappe are playing. Yeah. Um, and even if they do play, because it could easily still be a draw. I could see another 3-2. To who? Liverpool. Oh my God. I could. Right, <clears throat> next. Locomotive Moscow versus Galatasaray. Mm -hmm. This one's Tom's. So Lokomotiv Moscow currently have zero points. Galatasaray are in third, in third on three points. Yeah. Galatasaray won the reverse fixture 3-0 back in September. That's our only three points. Moscow have not won in their three games. Um, they also lost at the weekend to Ural. Mm. Never heard of them. Um, but Galatasaray uh, are also not in good form. They've only got one win in the last six. Neither team doing great, are they? And you never really want to go travel no, all that no. way to Moscow. No. It's going to be cold. And Galatasaray, just have, I remember doing research before, they're not very good away from home. Mm. They're good at home, but not away from oh, home. Maybe fancy Moscow there. Eh? <sighs> I haven't even won anything yet. Um, Galatasaray failed to score in three of, three of the last six. Mm. And they slipped up to third. Uh, slipped down to third in the league in the Turkish league. Yeah, it's tough. It's a really hard game to call. Tom's gone with a draw yeah. at three point three. Yeah, could see that happening. Could even be a nil nil. That could be. Um, he's gone one all. Yeah, no one's gonna want to play that game. That's gonna be a crap, Moscow. crap game. Freezing cold. Oof. Nah. Yeah, nil nil. All right, Porto Schalke last game. So it's first v second. This is obviously the. the much better game than the other two. Uh, neither team has lost yet. Mm. Reverse fixture was 1 1. Porto have won 11 of 12 games since then. Oof. Eight clean sheets. Big form. Under 2.5 goals has happened in eight of those games as well. Mm. Schalke have won 7 of 13 games since, and under 2.5 goals has happened in 10 games of those 13. Yeah. So under 2.5 goals is the shout 1.74, probably red. Yeah, I stats would say that that is red. That's red. Porto win at home, one point eight, which I could see. Yeah, I've gone one nil Porto. I think so. Mm. I think it could be about one nil. Yeah. Yeah, all of those sound right. Mm. So that is your games for Wednesday. Wednesday, Champions we, League. We also have Europa League coming up. Yeah, obviously. there's Thursday. value. There's value in Europe, and there is a lot of value, yeah. a lot of reds. Yeah. You need to make sure you watch it. Yeah. On our other video. Yeah, it's up here in the eye somewhere. Yeah. Um, we're gonna rattle through them, but yeah. there's lots of lots of reds. In yeah. There. So stay tuned. See you on the next one. See ya. Bye. Now then, is the referee looks at his watch, and his second now.